Good evening, everyone. I'm Andy Fox. In the news tonight, the notorious Michael Vick dog fighting house in Surrey County is now home to dogs. The house was sold to the organization Dogs Deserve Better, a rescue group that has big plans for the property. And today, the dogs started showing up. Our reporter, Surrey Crow, is on the story and joins us live. Surrey, what a big day out there. It really is a feel-good story, Andy. And empowering is how the founder of Dogs Deserve Better described the move into Vic's property. Today, uh, what is this group and how well-known are they? 95,000 fans on Facebook. Now this group wants to turn a place of one-time canine trouble and make it a home for man's best friend. 15 acres, 15 acres in Surrey County with such a past. The infamous home where Michael Vick ran his bad news dogfighting ring. A nightmare that Tamira Thane is trying to forget. Book and I'm just amazed by what all went on back here. I mean, it's it's creepy. Thane is the founder of Dogs Deserve Better, a national rescue group formerly based in Pennsylvania. When Thane heard that the Vic property was up for sale, her dream of a rescue facility for chained and penned dogs became reality. <laughs> Eight dogs will call this place home for now, but Thane has much bigger plans for many more paws. Our long-range plan is to build a state-of-the-art dog facility out there in the open area. The property is in need of major renovations in order to make this one-time dog fighting kennel a comfy home for these guys and other dogs in need of TLC. The old kennels behind the house won't be part of the plan. So we want them to live near us and be with us and, you know, as close as we can. Eventually, the group wants to take in many more dogs, but the group is in desperate need of funds to help renovate the property. If you'd like to help out with volunteering, building fencing, or donations, you can go to their website, dogsdeservebetter.org. Surrey Crow, 10 on your side.